So people are asking, how do you make a script? I'm going to show you how to do this so people know how to do it themselves. There's a big difference between creating a script and writing code. So first of all, we're going to go to Tools, Macros, Start Recording. Choose one. Now I'm starting to record. Bitmaps, Sharpen, Unsharpen Mask. Change this to whatever you want. If you ever watch any videos on how to make a photo laser, this is what you do. You bring up your percentage here, you bring down your radius, and you'll notice that when I hit OK, you'll see it sharpen the edges. You can make whatever adjustments you want, whatever values you want. That work best for you. Bitmap. Sharpen. Now you can resharpen it. Same thing. You can bring the values to whatever you would like to, you know, how much you want to do the edge level, whatever. I'm going to leave it right here where it's at. Hit OK. So if you notice down here, mine's already 300 DPI. I don't need to change it. But if you want, convert to bitmap, change your DPI to whatever you want it to be. I'm not, I'm, well, actually, here, I'll do that. It's not going to do anything, but I'll go ahead and do it. Now, I'm going to do the last thing here. I'm going to convert it to a bitmap, which is black and white. I'm going to choose whatever conversion method you want to use. Jarvis Stuckey. I'll use Stuckey. Hit OK. Voila, you're done. Tools, macros, stop recording. Done. I'm going to see my recording. I can go down here. Here's my recorded macro. Anyways, you can do it yourself. So there's a big difference between recording a macro and what I've been doing for many years, writing macros. Made lots of macros over the years. These are all four different things. Garment decorating, rhinestone patterns, um, mock-ups. Here's the one I just finished the engraving. Way different than recording a macro. Enjoy.